tutorial, I'm going to review the new self cats loft uh, feature. Uh, it's in the tool menu. You see something loft. Loft requires a minimum of two profiles, and you can create simple things like you see over here. This would be just a like the icon. This would be just a rectangular and a circular uh, profile, but you can use many profiles and custom profiles to create a lot of advanced things. So let's get started. I'll first create this shape. I'll go to the top menu, I'll go into the drawing 3D sketch to start doing the drawing and I'll take a basic uh, rectangle, create a rectangle just something like this and then I'll go to switch to circle, I'll deselect this so it creates a new profile I'll make an offset of the plane, let's say I'll make this to 200 and then I'll draw my circle something like this and that's all you need now you see we have these two shapes i'm selecting these two shapes and i go to loft and here you go you created the same shape you have over there if you want to fill it you can go and you can fill the top you can fill the bottom as well and basically you create something like this let's say we finalize it and here you go this is basically something what you see in the icon so but let's start doing a little bit more creative creating a little bit more advanced so let me delete everything and i'll go again to the 3d sketch at uh, this time i want to do a little bit more precise drawing so i'll go to photographic view and i'll move back offset to zero we start drawing from zero position and let's start with a circle i'm going to use change the edges let's say to just 10 so it's not perfectly circular it gives me some a little bit more shape like this and i'll create the first uh, plane first things over here i'll give it a name uh, zero so i know what it is easier to select and then i'm going to create i need to create the inner part i can actually fill it without an inner part and then go add thickness but that would mean that the inside part must be a mirror image of this one so if this is not circular then the inside wouldn't be circular but in this case i want the inside to be circular and the outside to be a shape like this so that's why i'm going to create my own profile i can deselect this again and by the way if you don't deselect you can take uh, if all are created in one profile you can later select them and uh, go split the feature that they have over here split can split them uh, maybe i'll show it once just just to give the idea so um for now as i have this i'm gonna create basically the circle but i want it to be circular so let's give it 30 edges should be fine for here and i'll create something like this that should be my wall thickness should be fine something like this and i'll give this a name let's say zero b so i know what this is and now i'll go create an offset so let's say i'll make the offset 100 and because it's autographic view, you can't really see visually the offset, but it is an offset, uh, the plane moves. And I'll start drawing now a circle, but I'll give it now actually the max. Um, you see later why I'll need it. And in case you don't do it, you can always go to resolution and add resolution later. But for now, 128 edges should be fine over here. And I'm going to create the circle, which we'll start doing again look here. Let's make it a little bit bigger just to see a little bit what's happening to give it a test and i don't need the inner part over here because i'm going to add an, a second offset and that should do it so this is going to be the 100 position and then i'm going to go to my offset let's say 200 and over here i'm going to create another circle um, let's say i'm going to make it again a 10 edge one i'm just testing i don't have any particular design in mind just to show how it's going to work and I'm going to do it again to this size, similar to what I have over here. And I'm, you see, I forgot I did it in two, so I'm going to split it instead of undoing it. I'm going to split it just to show how this can work. And these are both, um, actually, this is a 200 position now. So I have a 200 and a 100 shear position, so I'll need to update, split them away and change it. But now the third one, I'm already going to change positions to 100. And I'm going to make actually now the inner part, uh, oops, I have to undo this, or um, let me un click this, I'll undo this. So I'll go now make this to 30 because I want to have it smooth, similar. I want the entire inside to be the same, uh, circular, and so a smooth inside. So I'll make this like this, and I'll give this a name 200. So I'm still left to split this part. So now I can go back to my perspective mode. You can see now how it looks 
not overlapping and you can see things a little bit different so that's why we usually draw with photographic view <coughs> so as i said i'll need uh, i have here two things split so i need to deselect this let me select this part and if i go here to polygon mode you can start selecting i need to deselect this part you see this will select and this will select these two are connected so i'm selecting this part and i'm going to go to split so i have it over here split off and this part is basically the 200 uh 200 and this actually is a 200 b 200 b so okay so now we are clear um so let's do a loft on this and you can select from here um i like you know let's start we select over here i select the zero and then the 100 and then the 200 um this is the 200 and then the 200 we can select just this one and make a loft let's see um without selecting the inner parts so this basically creates something just something like this and then you can choose the fill settings over here which is the closed polygon in this case it closed it completely it's manifold you can unselect closed polygon and you can select to fill the top and bottom or let's undo this as well and in this case you can just go and add finalize and add thickness so the thickness inside would look similar to the outside so we don't want that so basically i'm going to discard this and i'm going to continue selecting after it goes over here i want to go to the 200b and then i want to go to the 0b so it will connect over here and now let's do loft and now you see basically we created the inside that is perfectly circular and the outside is this shape and so on and you can still play with uh, closed polygon but this is uh, no, yes so over here you see this is opened over here so it's not manifold you have the thickness over here that is open so if I close loft now it will close this part and it will be perfectly fine so this is just ready shape to 3d print and quite nice um, but let's try if we can get a little more creative and let's try to do something more so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna select the center part this part and I added if you remember I added a lot of edges to it on purpose because I wanted to be able to modify this I'll go to the edge selection I'll do loop selection and I'll select let's see over here so I select the entire thing now but then I turn on custom patterns and this is basically a select one a skip one this is the same thing if I scale this will scale everything so I'm gonna skip let's say two select one skip two or let's say you can get a little bit more interesting so I select one then I skip five and then once I do this, I'll start scaling it and I'll basically scale this in a bit to create an interesting shape like this. So this should be quite a complex shape. Let's see if Loft can handle this. I'm gonna go to select again from the zero position. I'll go I have the zero and then I have the 100, then I have the 200 and then I need to go to the 200 B and then to the zero B. And by the way, if you select this wrongly, uh, you can always switch it in the loft tool um, you can switch this is draggable but look what's happening now now you added some nice um, curves over here uh, much nicer to these these all of these parts over here that have been added so you can basically create quite interesting stuff like this and um, yeah so let me just show you how you can switch this and this in this case this will break it but in many cases you do want to do it so let's say if i switch to 200 with the zero so i start with 200 and then i go to zero so this basically creates a completely distorted object. So in most cases, you wouldn't want to do that. But if you don't know what you're doing, how you select, you can play around. But that's why I named this uh, based on numbers so you see what's happening. So now you can go with this. Let's say I finalize this and I'm going now to uh, inverse select. So it deselects all of the profile, selects just the object. And I'm going to go to deform and let's go and twist it a little bit to add some twists and yeah so let's see something like this and here you go quite an interesting organic shape with just a few seconds uh, to create something like this it's quite interesting and obviously you can do many more complex designs of elegance and so on and and to do interesting stuff now let's try to get a little more creative what i'm going to do now is something that i don't suggest anyone do does because i don't even understand exactly how it works it's not in a controlled way so but just to show what could happen in case you do something mistake so you know what's happening so the loft expects everything must be a closed polygon and it's basically a 2d uh, polygon position they're all flat 
But if you start doing things where you start moving them, you, you may end up with very interesting stuff. So let's see what I'm going to try to do now is I'll take again the center position, this polygon, and let's say if I go to loop selection again, and I'll do the loop selection. So I'm going to select this, so it loop selects the entire thing. It remembers my setting from here before. And I'm going to uh, twist it a little bit. Let's say, let's make it skip just one. Okay. And let's see what's going to happen. And I'll go to move. And this is a 100 position. You remember we did this 100 position. Let's make it, let's say, 101. So I twist it a little bit, moved it up. So now the loft is going to have to juggle this on a kind of a 3D profile. So let's see what's going to happen now. Um, I created before interesting shapes like this, but as I said, I'm, I don't know yet the exact math behind it. So to be able to do it in a controlled way. So that's why I don't really suggest using it at this point, um, but uh, let's give it a try. Let's see what's happening now. Even a small twist should make a difference. So if I go now to loft, um, actually this small, it was too small, I guess. So it didn't make a big difference. So let's go a little bit more um, creative and let's see. Also, because I think if I skipped one, then it moved too much. I should have done it a little bit different. So let's go back to to this part where this is selected let's see okay so this part where this is selected i think if i move skip one and move one i'm basically moving everything you could select every second vertex so it's actually not what i want to do i have to skip more play a little bit more so let's do it again uh, with loop selection and i'm going to select this and i'm gonna skip let's say two Let's skip two, try skip two, and then let's go to move, and you see it's 100, so let's make it 101, um, or let's try to make it a little bit more, 103, and let's see now what's going to happen with the loft. So I'm going to create now, to select now the zero, uh, 100, 200, 200B, 0B, and we're going to make the loft. So now you see we got a twisted shape. See, so just twisted it, and because it was moved, it created twists like this. So it's actually quite interesting. Uh, this is a little bit different type of twist that you cannot do with the twist I had before. It's kind of uneven twist. But this basically happened because what I did is I moved up a certain part. So it's kind of twisted the profile. So the profile gets, you can actually see it. You still see the profile is the back line. So it follows basically the profile. So it's again, I need to do many more testing and figure out the exact math behind it so it can create, uh, if you want to create a shape like this, how you can do it. But I, I, I think it's just a matter of testing. We can control it. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, doing things like that can, can be quite creative and can do uh, interesting shapes even more. So yeah, so that's basically what it is. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like it, please like and share and comment. Um, until next time, enjoy using SelfCat. Have a great day, bye.